Black History Month was recognized at Gibbs High School with a special student presentation of four little girls. The production was written and directed by PCCA guidance counselor, Dr. Cody L. Clark. History was brought to life by and for Gibbs students, as well as the general public. The play performance was based on facts surrounding the 1963 church bombing in Birmingham, Alabama, that caused four young girls to die. The synopsis of the show is it's pretty sad overall. To try to tell a great truth, uh, you may have to deal with what was there. And uh, so the synopsis is the four girls, and they were in Sunday school, and they were getting ready for the church service that day, and the bomb happened. The so students learn long before you see the production. You know, I, the makeup artists, for example, what they learned when they saw pictures of the autopsy of the four girls, uh, when the makeup artists, which are all students, looked at, um, when they looked at the autopsy, you could see, and, and Miss Kelly was wonderful with the students, to steal them, to make sure that they understood that it was the history, and at the same time, to with reverence, uh, help the students process how very awful it was to throw a bomb in a church and kill these four girls. It, it, you, can't, you can't beat that with a textbook, you know. This, the experience makes it worth it. So that, that happens right away early in the show, so people know the story, I tried to go ahead and get over that. But what I'm hoping that they see, which is the real lesson, is the combination of all people who work together to cause rights to occur to all kinds of people. In the show, The Four Little Girls, I play Cynthia Weasley, which is one of the oldest girls in the show. She's 14 years old and she lives in Birmingham, Alabama. September 15, 1963. 16th Street Baptist Church, Birmingham, Alabama, Youth Sunday. I learned of the things that happened in the past, the history behind the incident that happened in the church. It's showing what happened and about them like you know coming back to life as angels i think it's a really good performance there's a lot of stuff going on there's singing there's acting there's me dancing and the other three girls dancing i write storylines based on the research so in this case i did the research for four little girls that happened in 1963 in Birmingham, Alabama. And I take from the research what elements I think would enhance student learning, uh, what elements would help them understand the, the thought processes and the condition of that time and how it affects them today. Basically, I didn't really know about this until they brought up the performance. I never knew about any four little girls or anything about the bombing. So it basically just taught me about some history of mine. I am one of the oldest sisters of Denise McNair, and we're supposed to be kind of like overprotective over her. And we are just dancing in the first part, but it's actually telling a story in the dance about how they were bombing and how they found them in the pile. And basically, at the end, after they die, we basically rise up and turn into little angels. This show is different from others that I've been involved in because it's a true life story. We're telling these, this four little girl's story. This is something that actually happened. And it's important that we portray that to the best of our abilities here. As in other shows, it's more, I've been in a lot of musicals, so it's more like fantastical and a lot of songs. But this is, we get down to the truth of what actually happened. 
At this production, I'm the assistant to the director, which means I help organize the cast, organize the rehearsals, write down notes of what happened in the rehearsal, and anything that Dr. Clark needs me to do, I'm his right-hand person. We only have one main rehearsal when everyone is together. The 140 uh, students and participants come together one Saturday from 9 to 5. And then that's when the first time anybody sees the stage, first time anyone sees the set, first time they hear sound, lighting, everything happened on one Saturday. This is one of the best casts I've ever worked in. They understand what we're trying to portray in the show and they, they want to do it. This is their history and they understand that. So they have the best understanding of what could ever happen. And I'm so thankful for this experience of getting to work in this theater with the cast, with Dr. Clark especially. He's an amazing person. He's done so much for me as like growing as a director. It's just been the best experience. In Four Little Girls, I'm Carol Robertson. I'm one of the youngest girls in the church bombing. And I'm supposed to be like portraying um, Denise McNair's like best friend in this and how they go through the whole experience. I learned more about the history of it because I, I knew that there was a bombing but I didn't know to what extent the damages caused and like I just learned more about the history. Um, the best part of the role was working with our dance teacher because we got to like experience new ways of like moving. We got to see her outside of the classroom and more like as a person, as a teacher. Doing this like gives you more experience on stage because it shows you that a lot of things can go wrong but then the show will end up being like something that you didn't expect. So you kind of have to go in with the mindset of something's going to go wrong so when nothing goes wrong you're like surprised like okay that was really good. I play Denise McNair, the youngest of the four little girls. She is the youngest and uh, she, she, I think she's the one that got the worst damage, one of the worst damages. The story is about hatred and the racism that happened back then. It was more difficult because I had to act more instead of just dancing. Uh, we have choirs on stage, we have uh, people speaking on stage, soloists, we have live musicians on stage, and uh, we're just trying to get all of that uh, into our sound system. Right now we're running two channels from the computer for our uh, playback for our sound effects. We're running uh, six wireless microphones and uh, two to three corded microphones. Saturday was our first tech rehearsal and then yesterday uh, was our second. So, And today is our first uh, full dress rehearsal and uh, technically our last. <laughs> it's a short turnaround. For this show I am running the light board and I go to different cues when I'm asked to. To go to different cues, you have to press the go button. And just in case, like if we're in rehearsals and we need to go back, you just press this button. And then to go to any random cue you want to go to, you press the go to button. And you type in whichever cue you want to go to. And then you press enter and it just jumps to that cue. The stage manager has to read off the script during the show and then call all the cues. I basically run the whole show and call all the cues, make sure everything happens on time and happens right. Um, and I just go off the script and call everything to everybody. We had about two rehearsals this time. Usually we have about a week, but this one was a little bit shorter. It, um, we just didn't have as much time to kind of perfect everything, but I think it'll be okay. It's not far. The march is still going on for various reasons, for all kinds of reasons, for religious reasons even. You know, people are still in the fight to try to figure out how can we get a piece of this or how can we be as equal as anybody else. And, and it's not just black rights at this time. It's also white rights. It's also gay rights. It's also uh, uh, our veterans, uh, military people, their rights. It's also handicapped people, their rights. It's also animal rights. I mean, we're on the front line today, very much like the 1960s, in our own different ways. There's marches, there's races, there's runs, all kinds of, of, of uh, uh, events that occurs to help people 
just be human and just be equal. But the message would be everybody is involved. Everybody, it's not just a black issue. That's it for this edition of Spectrum of the Arts. Thank you for being with us. I'm Jonathan Ogle, and we'll see you next time.